So generally, a, a pie chart is that if you give it a bunch of values, it adds them all up, and then after it adds all the values, it divides them in percents, and then each area then get that much percent or portion of the pie. So we'll see how you can do pie charts in JavaFX. In the good old days of Swing, it was a mess. I mean, like, I would have to actually spend the whole day doing what I could now do in 15 minutes. So first of all, we need to create a pie chart data. Now this data could be coming from a file, could be coming from a database. However, we will going to be hard coding and we're going to be using generics. So we have a generics class called observable list. Well, we talked about it last time when we were here. And this time we are creating it of pie chart data type. So it will going to be used as a pie chart data. So we're going to be using FX collections and it has a built-in function called observable array list which allows us to add items to the observable list in the form of an array. Now when we're adding data for the pie chart, we keep creating instances of pie chart dot data class. And each instance needs a title. For example, if I say IT programs and a value. So let me create, let's say, five instances of pie chart. One, two, three, four, five. I'll say, okay, nursing. So this is basically my five areas in the pie chart. So it adds all these numbers together and of course by numbers as you can see the nursing takes up a lot more space than any of the other things but the area given to the nursing will probably be the same as the area given to IT and arts together because they all add up to 70. So I'll just take the whole area and I'm going to divide it up in five portions. So now once we have created the data set, well now I'm going to create pie chart and assign data to it. And some of this code down below, I'm going to grab from my previous example, which is to create the scene and the root and all of that stuff. So I'll just simply copy this from here and paste it down below. Okay. Just make some basic changes. Instead of circle, we now have a pie chart. So that's what we're gonna use. Other than that, uh, we'll change the title. And the rest stays the same. So now when you run this program, notice isn't this amazing? It just color codes it, it divides it up, it gives titles, and it also gives you a legend at the bottom. Okay. I would have to manually do all of this stuff in Swing. I would have to literally create the legend. I have to create circles in a rectangle box and place the text in those coordinates. It just makes everything so easy. And not only that, you can actually give um, titles too. So for example, I say setting pie chart properties. So I can say I want my pie chart to have a title. Uh, program results.
And now when you run this, you will see the program results to show as a title. Now, also notice, where are the IT programs right now? Down below, right? In the bottom right corner. You can actually rotate the pi on axis. So I basically want to rotate the ID programs and come on the other side. So for me to do that, I can say I want my pie chart to set its start angle to, let's say, 180 degrees. And now when I run this, you will notice that your IT programs are moved 180 degrees. Now they're on the other side. So you can rotate it on axis.